she's putting all our, of our cars down on the table, knowing there's no way that you'll be able. Hi. To so today is Tuesday. Um, welcome back to the vlog. My name is Chelsea. If you are new here, I'm a second year middle school math and science teacher. So, um, like I said, today's Tuesday. We had a three-day weekend. I literally have like four minutes to say all of this because I've been so busy. So, I was asked to join the RTI group, which um, is brand new for me. I obviously, like, this is my second full year, so I've never had the chance to do RTI. We didn't do RTI last year because the majority of the year was virtual anyway. Um, but being so new, like, I barely understand what RTI is. Like, I'm getting it more, but... Yeah, before they asked me, I was like, what is that? So, um, but one of my um, teammates is the other sixth grade RTI person. So I was like, if you can do it and you can like walk me through what we're doing, then I'll do it too. So they asked me to join and we had our first meeting last Friday and then our like first meeting as the adult team last Friday. And then we met with our kids today during lunch. So Tuesdays on my lunch are going to like Tuesdays are going to be really hectic days for me from now on. Um, so yeah, we pulled our kids. We have eight kids. Um, the most, most of them are boys, but we do have some girls. So yeah, we pulled them today. It was just like an icebreaker. Get to know you. They're, um, about half of them are our kids. Like me and my team teacher, um, are our kids. And then the other kids are from the other side of the hallway so I knew who most of them were because like I've seen them but I didn't like know them know them so they just kind of hung out in my room today and we just kind of like talked about what the program was about and everything like that and then next Tuesday we're going to actually start doing some stuff so I'll probably have more to share on RTI next week but it's basically all we did today today in class I feel like somebody's gonna walk in my room any second um, today in class, we are doing moon phases. So my kids are starting by doing their notes. Let me just show you really quick. So they're starting out by doing these notes. I just taped mine in. That's why it's kind of lopsided. This is my, um, notebook, but we just started out by going through a PowerPoint and they filled out all these notes. And then I had them cut these because the worksheet actually looks like this. It's a full sheet. So I had them take notes and then they cut along the dotted lines. All of theirs was filled in. These are very sloppy teacher notes. Um, and then on the back side, I had them write the names of each moon. So we did notes and then they had to work with their table partner to fill this in. So the inside, they talked about which side of the moon is day and night compared to where the sun is at. And then the outer moons, they had to actually color all eight moon phases and then show me which direction the moon revolves around the earth. So they did that and then we played a Kahoot. So yeah, class has been pretty simple, pretty easy today. Um, and that's really all we did. I passed back their test and I got my grades in this morning before class started. Um, all of our meetings got canceled this week, which is awesome. And our contract time got pushed back to 8.30 this week. So I definitely got here at eight this morning, but I am about to get cut off by the bell and have kids come in here. So I'm gonna go. If I don't get back on today, which I'll try to, but Cher has a game today, then I will catch you up tomorrow. Okay, so today is Wednesday. I feel like I've been saying it's Tuesday all day today, but no, today is Wednesday. And um, today was another really, today was another really good day. They got a lot done today. We did order of operations again. Today was like our last review day before their test on Friday. So I, they literally just did task cards all day today. So what I did was, I made all of these task cards. This is what I've been working on the last few days. Um, so I made leveled task cards. So I made um, enough task cards to have four levels. So the first level was exponents and I color coded them. That way the kids would know what level they were on. So I just made them pretty small, honestly, and I could have laminated them, but I didn't have time because I was prepping this this morning. So the way that it worked was, let me find one because all of these are answers. So they had, the first level was just exponents. So they had a card like this that said simplify two to the third power. And then they had to go through and find the answer um, because they had the problems and the answers in the same deck. And so they just had to go through all the problems and match them. And I just gave each kid a whiteboard. Um, that way they could just quickly erase and do their work and show their work and all that kind of stuff. And I'm like making these all twisted. 
So yeah, that is what they did for level one. So everybody started on the exponents. Once they got done with exponents, they brought their um, task cards back up to me and then they got the second level. And the second level was not orange. The second level was green. And so the green ones, again, it had answers and questions on it. So the green ones just had them simplify using multiplication, division, addition, and subtraction. So that was it. And so again, they had to go through the order of operations with just those four operations and then look for their answer in here. Once they got done with that level, then they went on to purple. And purple had multiplication, division, addition, subtraction, but I added parentheses. So this was the PMDIS. So I did it this way because this is how I taught it. I taught it in a way that was exponents first, then MDIS, then add parentheses, then I added exponents. So I wanted to do their review leveled as well. That way they could really see where they were at and what they really needed to focus on. Do they need to focus on exponents? Because some of them took a really long time to get through the exponents one, and some of them just kind of like flew through these. So the ones that like were able to fly through them and really understand um, each card, I think saw like, oh, I do know what I'm doing. And then the last ones just had the addition of exponents. So it was the full PEMDAS on the orange cards. So then once they were done with the orange cards, then they got on a Blook It and they did a Blook It for the rest of the afternoon. So that was literally all that they did today. So tomorrow they are going to take their moon phases test. So, cause I don't know, um, it's in the back. So tomorrow they're gonna take their moon phase test and it's literally just a diagram of the moon phases and they'll have to fill in each phase. And then they're also, I opened up the seasons retake, so I just made some copies of it. I probably will have to make more copies of it later, but tomorrow they're going to be able to retake their seasons retake from last week if they didn't like their score. Then when they are done with that, which I need to figure out how I'm gonna do this, I think I'm gonna put these in whiteboard sleeves, honestly. Um, but one of my teammates got these um, for free. She just gave me a copy. So it's more task cards. It's all of PEMDAS task cards. And then they also come with the answer. So I'm thinking, I was originally going to cut these out because um, I just made a class set. Um, I was gonna cut these out, but I don't really think that I wanna do that. I think tomorrow I'm just going to put the problems on one side and the answers on the back and put them in whiteboard sleeves or in dry erase sleeves. That way they can just like go through it and then they can flip it over and mark the one that they got um, or found the answer to. They can mark that one out. I think that's what we're gonna do. That'll just be a little bit easier for them to work on self-contained because they're gonna be doing this at, while people are finishing up a test. So that's what I'm gonna do for these. So I need to do that tomorrow, um, but yeah. Other than that, I have been able to get a lot done today. I'm gonna to show you guys the anger chart that I made today. So I just made their order of operations. Anchor chart looks very similar to the um, anchor chart notes that I made because that's the diagram that I used. So I think I'm actually gonna keep this one here and then I might take that one down and put it up here as well just so that they can use it, or I might just go ahead and put that one up there. I think I actually am just gonna put that one up there. That way um, it's there as a reference tool. Yeah, that has really been all we did today. They just worked in partners and completed that. Um, the other news is um, I was asked to join the RTI team here and I'd never done RTI. I never even really knew what RTI was. So, um, we had our first meeting a couple weeks ago as like the adults and then the we had our first meeting with the kids on Tuesday, so yesterday during our lunch and it was pretty good. We just kind of met with them, introduced who we were because not all of them are our kids and we just kind of let them know what the program is going to be about and what we were going to be working on and they need to look up that curriculum because I'm not sure what we're supposed to work on next week. But yeah, so joined RTI. That was um it's gonna be interesting for sure because I'm not really sure how all of it works so I'll have to keep you updated on that. And then the other thing was I started classes so I finished my second class last night. 
I have 93 total credit hours in this first phase and then I have 160 something credits in the second phase so it's gonna take me a lot it's gonna be a lot of work to get through it I'm gonna try and take another class today but yeah it's gonna be a lot to get through but I'm excited I'm excited that I'm finally in it and going through my program and everything like that so there's that but I am gonna go ahead and head out there's I know this vlog is gonna be like super light so I might throw in some extra content but yeah that was it for today's portion and I will see you tomorrow all right so I just got in actually I got in maybe like 10 minutes ago but I unpacked my stuff I put my order of operations anchor chart up which I'll show you guys in a second it's so weird I like purposely didn't put earrings on this morning and I was just like oh my gosh where are my earrings anyway um so yeah today is test day they are taking their science test today and then their math test is tomorrow so I need to erase the board I need to change the board up and get their um, standards and everything up for today and then I think I'm gonna start class by showing a review video on um, the moon phases so today is their test on moon phases let me go get it I'm gonna show you okay so I got the answer key so I can do some grading while they are finishing up their test but this is their test so they literally so the sunlight is over here they literally just have to write the phases of the moon and um, just be able to recognize them it's already shaded in for them and everything like that I have been loving the way that we're doing science tests um, the last science test and then this science test this was the last science test I think I showed you in last week's vlog this was the last science test but I've really been liking it because I don't know I just think it's a little bit more straightforward for sixth grade and it's complicated it's complicated enough for them it's not challenging material like and I think that they would agree it's not super challenging material but the skill that we're asking them to do is right on level for sixth grade versus our older tests where it was like so many multiple choice questions and it was just it was a little bit too higher level for sixth grade, I personally think. So I really have been liking the way we're transitioning math and science and just getting down to the basics, but challenging enough for on level sixth graders. So yeah, that is literally their test today. And then if they wanna retake the season test that they took last week, I have copies of that. Although I'm probably gonna have to make more copies of it because I only copied 30 and I think I have maybe like five or so from last week that we didn't use that I can pull out. So we'll see how many of my first period kids want to retake it. And if they literally take all of them, then I'll run and make some copies in between first block and second block. But I don't have anything to prep because I already made my copies for the test today. Um, and like I said, I, I'm just gonna show like a review video right before, um, so when they come in, I'll let them like look over their diagram and then we'll watch a review video that kind of just like talks about it again and then I'll test them. Um, yeah, that's really all today is going to be super laid back, super chill. Um, and then tomorrow's test is the PEMDAS test or the order of operations test. And um, I made an anchor chart, like I said, I'll show you guys in a second. It's just based off of my anchor chart um, notes, the guided notes that I made. Those are on my TPT if you would like to check them out. Um, but one of my teammates just came in here and she was like, I never make anchor charts. So I think I'm gonna make her an anchor chart really quick so that she can put up for tomorrow. And then she brought me to my teammate that just came in here about the anchor charts. Um, she brought me these two worksheets. So I might make, my phone just started ringing. So I could make some copies of these but we might just go, if everybody gets done, then we might just go through these practice problems together. I, I think that's what we'll do. So we'll probably, and then I'll save these for next year. So yeah, I'm gonna put these all in dry erase leaves and then we'll see how today goes. Sometimes you fall, yeah, sometimes you fall.
Be careful with my heart, oh Say I'm not sensitive, but I can sense a fit and now I'm gonna color in the letters with this green color and it'll be done. So it's currently my lunch and I'm gonna be covering for somebody during my prep so this is really all the time to myself that I have so this is probably gonna be a little bit shorter but um, they are just taking their test today. My first block got done maybe like 20 minutes. Everybody probably got done within 20 minutes and so after that and they I graded them put them in Skyward already, which was awesome. <laughs> so I have to do that with my next class as well. Um, but yeah, we had a really good morning after they were done with their test. They did the um, sheets. Let me, let's move over here. I'll show you. I put all of these in whiteboard sleeves so they have the answer on one side or the answer on one side and the problem on the other. And so they're just coming up here, grabbing one of these, grabbing their whiteboard markers and their dry erase markers and then they're just grabbing a dry erase marker an eraser and a whiteboard and then once they get done with those um, my first block everybody got done with everything and I got everything graded and so we went through this worksheet together I just wrote problems up on the board my second block didn't do as well with their test so I like graded it and I gave it back for them to do a quick correction and then while because kids were doing different things I went ahead and wrote those problems up on the board and just told them to go ahead and practice those by themselves um, and then we didn't have time to go over it so in between them taking their tests and me going over practice problems if we had time I have just been planning I got pretty much my entire week next week well I've got my entire week next week planned out um, I'm just at this point just putting stuff together and making sure like the extra things are all done and I found like worksheets and activities and stuff for them to do so tomorrow all I will have to do I might even do it today I might stay late today and do it um, but all that I'll have to do is just print everything so let me show you my plans for next week this week Monday Wednesday and Friday are math days and we are finishing our expressions unit. So on Monday, they are going to do an intro to expressions note sheet. Then they are going to basically just be writing expressions. Tuesday, we're starting eclipses and the notes are literally one page. So I am also working on a craft that I'm gonna try and put together and make sure that it works. Wednesday, we're doing, um, I'm basically just building on the same way that I did with order of operations. This time I'm gonna do that with expressions as well. So first they're gonna to have to write um, expressions on their test. Then the next part of their test is being able to simplify basic problems. So we're gonna work on that. And then Thursday will be their eclipse test and then they can retake moon phases if they want to. And then Friday is simplifying a full expression. Um, so they're going to be combining like terms and using the distributive property. They're simplifying expressions that way they can find an equivalent expression as well. Then on the following week, on the following Monday, they're just going to do their last part, which is word problem expressions. Wednesday will be review and then next Friday will be their test. So it's going really well. Um, like I said, I really like the way that we're doing things and the way that we're chunking things now. And I feel like I'm getting better with teaching this material because of the way that I'm chunking things and the way that I'm going through it. It's just, it makes more sense to me to do it this way for sixth graders. And I feel more confident and more comfortable delivering the material. And I think they are getting more confident understanding and grasping the material because I'm giving it into small bites versus last time when we were going through this material, it was like super overwhelming for me as a teacher and my students at the time because I felt like I had to do, I felt like I had to make it more complicated than it was because they're sixth graders and they're in middle school. And I feel like that's such a secondary mindset to have is that just because the sixth graders are in a middle school that they have to be treated like secondary. 
versus I feel like sixth graders still need to be treated as elementary because sixth grade is technically elementary. They just happen to go to a middle school with other secondary kids. Like there's, it's still, they're still elementary kids. And I think having that mindset is helpful because having the secondary mindset with sixth graders, it was, ju it was just too much and it honestly wasn't working. So I really like that I was able to flip it and just be like, nope, they're elementary. We need to make this way more elementary than what we've been doing. So, um, yeah, on my prep, while I have the other kids in here, I will just be, um, I need to get those last few tests that kids turned in graded and put in the grade book. Um, and then I'll just continue to plan and get stuff together for next week. So, yeah. Also, I'm going to show you a quick outfit of the day. My camera battery is dying, so I need to go change it. But um, I'm just wearing this sweater. Let me move you back a little bit. I'm just wearing this really oversized comfy sweater and I have a turtleneck top underneath it and then just my black pants and then I'm wearing my forces as well. So really casual but super comfy outfit for today. But yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and spend the last 10 minutes of my lunch break eating and then I'm gonna go get my split kids. Good morning, so today is Friday and we're virtual again. So I, we got a call this morning that there's just not enough staff um, or bus drivers across the district because of things that are going on in the world right now. So we um, are completely virtual. So what that means for my class is that we did push the test back until next Tuesday. I really tried to have my test still be today, but I really don't have anybody on the Zoom. So I would have to re-give it in person anyway. And I already printed all my tests. So we just pushed it. I just pushed it till next week and I kind of changed up next week. I'll show you my plans since I already showed you what my current plans would look like for next week. So I'll show you just how I like redo them because unfortunately, like this is just how school goes. Like you're, we get calls randomly all the time if we're closed or we're virtual now. And now that's part of being a teacher is you just kind of have to roll with it so rather than scrapping literally all my plans and starting over I am going to show you how I just like move things around and like mark certain things that way especially if you're a new teacher you don't feel like oh, now I have to redo all my plans no 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 just move some stuff around it's okay so instead of us taking the test today they are just doing some independent practice today so my teammate found an uh, escape room and I don't really like to do escape rooms with them online because a lot of times at least last year anytime that I would do an escape room the kids would just click through until they got the right answer and then they would be done in like 10 minutes so I took the story part of the escape room and put it in a page on canvas and then I also had the actual problem so basically they have 10 order of operations problems for like one set and there's three sets total. So they have, I would show you, but it's really difficult to see and I don't want you guys to see any kids names or anything like that. So I'm just trying to explain it as best as I can. So the first set has 10 problems and each like number, each number has the one of the answers next to it so like there's number one through ten and it has an answer next to it and then it has a spot for the letter of the problem name so like the problem problem is attached to a letter the kids have to solve the problem and then once they get that answer they'll find the answer in the column and then just put the letter of the problem that they solved next to the answer so they're fine they're matching the letter of the problem that they solved to the answer that they got um, and then that will create a long code and then they have to put that in a discussion board. So the way that I did it, I locked the modules in Canvas so that they have to go in order. That way they are actually getting through all three codes. And so they do that for the first code and then the second and third set are the exact same way. So in total, they're finding three codes and then they just have to post the code in the discussion board and then that's it for the day. So it's just kind of a more fun way, I guess, for them to do just some individual practice on what we've been working on over the last two weeks. And in total, it's about 30 problems. So not too much. Um, it's enough to keep them busy. It's enough practice and just 
a lot, a lot, a lot of repetition because order of operations is 100% just repeat it, repeat it, repeat it until you get it. So that is literally all they're doing today. Um, and so I really don't have much for me to do today because I got pretty much everything done for next week that I need to. And I have decided that going forward, <laughs> um, I can't make copies ahead of time anymore because I wasted so much paper last week when we were virtual for the majority of the week. And again, I printed the tests and now I don't know when we're gonna be able to use them. Like, I don't know what's gonna happen next week. So I'm not making any copies or anything like that. I will be printing out my teacher copies because regardless of if we're in person or not, I need those and I need them for next year anyway. So I am gonna be printing out my teacher copies today. So it's just one copy of everything that we are planning on doing next week. Um, in my classroom what I'm planning on doing next week that way I have it and then I can just make a copy of that rather than needing to print it I don't know in my head It's just easier to grab my teacher copy and go to the copier than it is to sit down Find what I need and hit print and then print all my copies. So that's just how I in my brain. That's Easier for me. So let me show you my updated plans Okay, so this is literally how bare this week's plans were because when I was planning it from last week, I didn't know what was gonna be happening, so I didn't really plan it much. Next week looks a lot better. So again, I showed you guys this all yesterday. I actually changed how we're doing it next Tuesday, which I'm gonna talk about in just a second, but these are a little bit more full. This column is everything that I needed to print and copy and make, and I'm just crossing it out as I go. That way I have, I don't know what that was. That way I have a little to-do list of every day because I have those extra columns, but Basically, my notes are just, or my lesson plans are pretty much just bullet points at this point because I am getting better at understanding how to plan and what all I need. So, Monday, everything for Monday, I'm keeping. Like, we're doing all of this lesson. This is a good lesson. I'm not changing the lesson at all unless we're virtual and I have to, like, tweak it. But I like this lesson. This is what we're doing. I'm just moving this lesson to Wednesday. So instead of rewriting it in Wednesday, just write Wednesday next to it. What we were going to do on Tuesday was Eclipse notes and videos and then the craft. But because we now have to take the order of operations test on Tuesday, which I just marked that here, we're going to do the notes and their Eclipse test because it's just a simple diagram test on Monday. So I just moved, I just wrote Monday. So we're keeping all of this. This is just happening here. And then um, Tuesday, we'll take the order of operations test. And I like to give all of the time that I can for that. And then Wednesday, what we're going to do on Wednesday, we're now doing on Thursday. Because what we're doing, what we were doing on Monday, we're now doing on Wednesday. So I'm just shifting this down a day. And then this is also moving to Monday. So this was going to be the test day. I know you cannot read that. This just says eclipse tests and moon phases and seasons retake. This is now Monday. So I just moved it to Monday. And then Friday is staying normal because we'll be here on Monday. So literally don't change your plans. Just move them. Don't replan. Don't come up with anything brand new. You don't need to rewrite it. Just write the days differently. So, yeah, those are now my plans for next week. Like I said, I'm just going to go ahead and print all of the copies that way i can put them in the back which i'll show you guys that once i make my copies i'll show you how i'm laying everything out for next week that way i can just go back there and grab what i need on that day and make copies that morning because i'll know where we're going to be at so basically all that i have to do i need to clean up what we did yesterday because literally yesterday after school i went home like i just went home um i didn't feel like cleaning or anything like that so i need to put away everything that we did Yesterday, I need to file all these extra stuff and just put it all away. I need to put my connect spins from last Friday away because they've been out literally all week. I've looked at them and I'm like, I need to go put those away. I need to go put those away. And I just haven't. So I need to put them away today because it's annoying me. But other than that, and I need to clean my boards. Oh my gosh, my boards are disgusting. So I need to clean my boards and I'm also going to go ahead and I'm going to go ahead and erase and put up my new standards for next week, for Monday, for eclipses, and hopefully we're in the building for that. If not, then it's already done and it's fine. But I would rather it be done in case we are going to be here on Monday than for it to not be done and me have to rush and do it on Monday. So that is... 
the plan. By the way, I got coffee this morning from Starbucks because I woke up at 5.30 when they called me and to let us know that we were gonna be virtual and then I couldn't go back to sleep and I just figured it was a Starbucks kind of day. So I got an iced brown sugar oat milk shaken espresso. I just got it without the cinnamon because the cinnamon kind of makes me feel like fall and I didn't want to feel like fall. copied or printed off my teacher copies of all of this so I'm gonna put this in order and then put these in the back room okay so I showed you the system in a recent vlog but so the eclipse notes will be Monday the test Tuesday and then this is what I've got so far these are my small group task cards that I made the notes that we're gonna do on Wednesday and then this translating expressions worksheet and another worksheet for them on Wednesday. More test cards for Thursday, so Thursday's pages there, and then more test cards and some of my lessons for Friday and the worksheets for Friday. So now all I have to do is come back here, grab my copy, and then just go make copies for the kids. All right, guys, so I am going to go ahead and end the vlog here. I know that this was a weird mashup of a lot of stuff that happened this week, but that's just teaching right now. So thank you so much for watching this video. Let me know in the comments below what you want to see from me more in vlogs. Do you want me to keep doing vlogs? Do you want to see something different? Let me know. Otherwise, I'm just going to keep doing vlogs. But that was it for this one, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like this video if you liked it and subscribe for more, and I'll see you in my next one. Goodbye. But she's somebody else in the making first She's just gotta stop all the faking And you